Hope everybody's having a great day, a great night, depending on where you're at in the world. Hope you guys are enjoying the holidays, all the weather change, and all the other good shit. Let's get straight to it. Um, I want to talk about the upcoming card of AEW Dynamite. What my uh, true thoughts on it. We got Christian Cage versus Edge for the TNT title. We got uh, Tony Storm versus Sky Blue. Then... Oh, we got uh, MJF and Joe versus the Devil Guys. And then we got the three Continental Classic matches. Uh, Jay White, Jay Lethal, Moxley, and Roosh, and uh, Swerve and Mark Briscoe. Now, this card sounds good. And I know the matches, the entering quality is going to be, you know, good. I know this. You know, that's one thing I can say about AEW for my taste. AEW always deliver entering. Uh, you know, so I could say that, but I'm going to tell you one of my problems I have with the Continental Classic already. The Continental Classic, bro, is already taking a dive, if you ask me. A, a not a good dive because it's, it's, it's putting certain situations and certain booking decisions. Like, for instance, do anybody believe Jay Lethal, first of all, is barely going to probably win any match? Honestly, let's keep it real. Jay Lethal, I'm a fan of Jay Lethal. I'm a been a mark of Jay Lethal since TNA days, Black Machismo days. But, bro, the way he's been presented at AEW, he's barely a top mid Carter guy, if you ask me. He's a low mid Carter. He just put on good matches and lose most of the time. So, do anybody really believe he's going to beat Jay White? Let's put on another one with the Continental Classic. Do anybody believe Roosh is going to beat Moxley? Then do anybody think Mark Bristol is going to beat Swerve? And let's say all these things happen. And I'm going to tell you, if these things were to happen, Jay Lethal, Mark Briscoe, Roosh were to win, that would make this Continental Classic way better. Why? Because it would book, it would make everyone look like they're on an even playing field. You should not have some type of tournament and everybody don't have a chance at winning. You want to know the most dangerous, most powerful move in wrestling history? The roll-up. It's that simple. It's that simple. A roll-up. A low-blow roll-up. We got hills in this tournament. Why they're not being hills? Fuck all that being fair and have a good match bullshit. You try to win, Right? So Jay Lethal can't get a roll-up win or something? You know, so it's just, it's like Moxley is starting to give me Super Cena vibes because it's like this dude hardly ever fucking loses, bro. Name it, what, he lost to Orange Cassidy. That's it. That's like maybe his third loss this year, bro. He lost to Ray Phoenix due to, due to complications. He got concussed. He wasn't even supposed to lose to Ray Phoenix. So, he was going to beat Ray Phoenix, too. Ain't no telling how many other people he would have beat as international champion this whole time. So, that that there with Moxley. Then Jay White, you know how they doing Jay White. This is about to be a win back for Jay White. Swerve is hot. This is then, it go back to why Swerve shouldn't even be in this. Swerve shouldn't have to even go through this to get a championship, bro. Swerve should have went against Orange Cassidy for the international championship. He should have got a feud some type of feud story with Orange Cassidy. They already got history. They already got about, what, three or four matches down the line. So that would have been perfect for Swerve to move right at the Swerve right in in Orange Cassidy. In Orange Cassidy titles run right there. You know, because like hell, even with the Blue League, you know, like, like Eddie Kingston. Why Eddie Kingston couldn't beat Danielson? Danielson is fighting with one eye. I mean, listen, he's literally still injured. That's why he shouldn't be in it. For his own sake, for his own health, he should not be in this. It's just a matter of time. He's going to get hurt, bro. And it's just like it's a waste of time to even put him in this. Tony Khan, protect these people from themselves, bro. Fuck all that. Oh, it's going to be a good match. Bro, you got so many people that can put on a good match. You could have you had anybody else but Danson in this. And Moxley and Swerve. Because Moxley don't need this. What did he need? What do he gain from this if he win this? What is what is it gonna do? 
another dominant run for Moxley. Bro, come on. Shit, Roosh, J. Lethal. They need this more. Brody King, Castanoli, Daniel Garcia, they need that more. That's why there's they per I don't have no problem with pretty much nobody anybody else in it. Hell, Jay White really don't even have to be in it. That's my alarm. If y'all that's my alarm on my other phone, if y'all hearing it in the back. But still, Jay White don't even have to be in it. But I'm okay with him being in it. But people, Danielson, Moxley, and Swerve, they really shouldn't even be in this, bro. Because the reason why I said that was Swerve, and I said in my other video, okay, he lose this whole thing, then what? This diminished his entire hot run. It's going to put him right back into a stagnant position. So that's that's my problems with the Continental Classic, man. It needs to be 50-50 booking. Now, how they doing Brody King? I thought Brody King was going to lose to Casanelli. I thought Brody King was going to lose to Eddie Kingston. So I'm like, good. Brody King looked like he could be anybody on here. This is how everybody should be. Like I said about Eddie Kingston, why he couldn't be dancing? It makes sense to beat Danielson. He's injured. Like, come on, dude. It, it, why? It, it's just, I'm not even about to get back on Danielson. He's irritating me with this. Like, he, you you talk about you don't want to be in a wheelchair for your daughter, but you sure is working hard to get there. Sure is working hard to get there. But enough on Danielson. He's irritating me. He's one of the, he's one of my favorite. That's what irritates me. But then we got Timeless Tony Storm versus Sky Blue. And I made another video about the championship problems. That 99% of the championships in AEW are booked the exact same way. And this is exactly my point right here. Dude, we get a promo on Collision. And yet, they always do this. Two or three day build up for a title match. We couldn't get at least three weeks of them telling some type of story. Where are the stories and fuse, bro? Because you know what? You know why I say that? Because stories and feuds make people look even to some degree. Even if it still look obvious they're going to lose, it can still give you a disbelief that they probably could pull it off. They probably could pull it off. Because think about it. All right, if it was a story, such and such attacked them, then such and such sneak attacked and did this and did this and did that. It would give you the idea like, damn, they're going to do anything to try to win. Ain't no telling what they might try to pull off. You see what I'm saying? So Sky Blue is put in a position. If she did win, it's like, why? She ain't did shit to be the world champ. Just because she got a nice ass, bro, that's not enough. Baby can't talk. She's finally trying to get a personality to some degree. But, dude, she's still, like, extra green. Green is the weed I smoke, bro. So it's like, come on now. They got to stop with that shit, man. Just people getting title shots from just really no buildups to no nothing, bro. Like, they got to stop with that shit. But, like I said, the match, the visual is going to be amazing. Don't get me wrong. Oh, man, I can't wait. Just that visual alone. The match is going to be good. But, yes, that visual alone of Tony Storm and Sky Blue, oh, yes. Give me that all day. But I'm still going on, like, the booking process of this, it, it, the booking decisions, it puts them in a left field position where they still present people. They're not going to win. They still, the presentation of certain people, they are still jobbers. Sky Blue been winning, but it's like, okay, why she can't have some type of story? Dude, she had one promo against Tony Storm. That's it? That's enough to build up a, a match? They got to stop with that, bro. These weak-ass build-ups. They did that to Kenny Omega with MJF. You put Kenny Omega in a lose-lose. Don't ever do that again. Are you serious? Kenny Omega is one of your MVPs. Not EVPs. I'm talking about MVPs. He's one of the most valuable players of AEW, period. So why would you put him in a lose-lose? You should never do that to Kenny Omega ever again. But then we got MJF. And Joe versus the Devil Guys. Now, it just depends if the Devil Guys are actually good. We just have to see. Ain't no telling who they are. So, we just have to see if the Devil Guys are good in the ring or, like, decent. They tell a story. Now, that now this is where I don't have a really problem with. That's why you ain't hearing me say anything. Because it's a story to this. Regardless if you like the story or not, it's a story. 
Give me stories. Give me character development. Go check out my video about the championships because I was talking about all this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think Joe and them might go over. And they, they might not, though. So that's what I like. I like the suspense of I don't know what really could go down with that. And then the main event. Now, I'm proud of the main event. I'm ready to see Edge versus Christian. I thought they was going to say this for World's End. But that's actually good they're doing it now. You know, really, is it is time to end it because it has been going on for a minute. So, you know, I mean, this might just add another chapter. You know, AEW, they, they kind of prolong fuse some time. But this this has been good. And I'm ready for Edge versus Christian. And I don't know who's going to win that. So I think it's a great main event. It's been a story. It's been a feud. So I can't really complain about the main event. I think the main event is going to be good. Um, and like I said about the Continental Classics, and, and every match, every match on here is going to be good to decent in my taste of what I like and what AEW deliver. As a fan, what I like to see from AEW, they put on good, fantastic matches most of the time. So I definitely think every match on this card, I mean, every card on this match, oh, man, I'm can't I can't speak. Every match on this card is going to be at least good to decent. But yeah, like I said about the Continental Classic, hopefully they they give me they they prove me wrong that we get Roosh going over Moxley, we get Jay Lethal going over Jay White or a draw, we get Mark Briscoe going over Swerve or a draw, or some type of interference, something because I don't know. It's just. It needs to be 50-50 if this is a classic. You need to make it look like anyone can win this. That's all I'm saying. Because, because if if Moxley go over, Jay White go over, Swerve go over, who couldn't predict that? That's the problem. You shouldn't have predictable matches in a classic, in a tournament like this. Every match should be like, I don't know who could win. Every match should be like that. But, um... You guys watching Dynamite? I'm I'm definitely gonna try to watch Dynamite. I know I got work that night, so I'll probably be able to catch it the next night or whatever. But you guys have a great one. Tell me what you think of the card. Comment below. Like and subscribe. You guys have a good one.